North American waters contain four members of the genus Esox, ranging from the largest species, musky, to its smallest two cousins, redfin and chain pickerel. Between these size extremes lies the most widely distributed member of the long and lean toothy critter clan, the northern pike. Ranging from Alaska to Nebraska to the maritime provinces of eastern Canada, pike abound in a wide array of cool water environments. Trophy pike fishing is often associated with fly-in fishing excursions to remote Canadian outposts. Yet fish of surprising stature are also available in drive-to destinations, if you know where to look and how to catch them. Well, we're fishing one of the best lakes in Northwest Ontario, famed Lake of the Woods. We're covering some water. We just got done with about the most beautiful weather that you'll see all year in early September, and we just got pounded with the cold front. So our theory is that the fish have moved off the shallow flats, we are starting to use these rock extensions like you uh, would typically fish in the fall from pike and muskies and we're just covering ground. We're still moving the waters warm enough where we can boogie along real quick and contour trolling, covering water. Lake of the woods, lake of options and uh, yeah and we got a shot at big fish of all big species. Fish, yeah. This is the time of year when this is so effective trolling like this. It's unbelievable how many fish you can put in the boat. And we're going to be able to cover a lot of water and fish a lot of spots that way. And you know, if you're coming up to a place like Lake of the Woods or fishing in new body water, there's no better way than to troll to find fish and to find spots. So that's what it's all about. We're going to get this guy back and yeah, keep moving along. Beauty. In fall, cooling water temperatures entice big pike to return to mid-depth weed and rock areas, back within the traditional range of angling efforts. The steep dropping portions of healthy green weed beds, shoreline points, neck down areas, and offshore humps attract both bait fish deserting the shallows and hungry pike on the prowl. As big pike gather along the outer edges of main lake structures, they're hungry for anything that swims within their range, be it ciscos, suckers, or large lures fished within their strike zone. You know, having the mapping option for, for doing this is really makes makes it a lot easier. We can, you know, run really close to those 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 bumps that stick out off the shore and, and keep our baits in the zone that, like you say, that 10 to 14, 8 to 14 feet that we're trying to target a lot easier than if you don't have the GPS there to keep you in line. Some of these spots are so complex that it takes you a pass or two if there's a lot of fish in an area to really get a bead on how everything's laid out and how to position your baits. When you get it, you can just go over that trail, leave the trail on the GPS and just keep going back and forth over it. When we fish Northwest Ontario for pike, we tend to favor the larger bodies of water with more carrying capacity to grow trophy-sized fish. We fish lakes like Rainy, Lake of the Woods, and Lac Sewell, but the truth is they're among hundreds of phenomenal waters within this region that grow big pike, especially those where camp operators encourage catch and release to ensure great fishing for their customers. 